Hello and welcome to Only Connect. If knowledge is fashionable, then this show is the ultimate catwalk, in the sense that backstage there's nothing to eat and everyone's throwing up. But knowledge isn't fashionable, as we'll find out in a moment. Let's meet the teams. On my right, Mick Hodgkin, a crossword compiler and Arsenal fan, who's written a history of the world in a hundred limericks. John Tozer, a data scientist who's distantly related to the noted architect Charles Holden. And their captain, Richard Heald, a keen scrabbler who's able to say and spell the longest place name in the world. United by a compunction for competitive crossword clue writing, they are the clue smiths. Richard, you won your first game against the operational researchers, then lost to the Yorkers. More to the point, what is the longest place name in the world? Uh, it's 85 letters long, Victoria. And let's hear it. Oh, OK. Um... <clears throat> Tau mata wakatangi hanga kua huwa, tamatiu toro poki kapi ke maonga, horonuko poke wana wakatana tahu. Easy for you to say. <laughs> they must sell enormous postcards. <laughs> Have you been there or is it just a quiz fact? Never been there. Maybe one day. Maybe you can treat yourself to a trip with the winnings from this show. <laughs> oh, no, hang on. Wait, it won't work. Mm. You are facing tonight on my left. Chris Beer, an English graduate who enjoys reading biographies of Napoleon, and was once interviewed as a healthy schools representative on BBC Radio Lincolnshire. Ewan Macaulay, a chemistry student who was attacked by dogs owned by a local beekeeper in Kurdistan. And their captain, Sam Swift, a policy researcher who once had a detailed conversation about drink driving with the British ambassador to Iceland and Tommy Walsh from Ground Force. United in spirit, they are the mixologists. You lost your first game against the Spaghetti Westerners and then won against the Collectors. How was that last game for you? Tense, close, harrowing, and it was a good job we were all wearing dark trousers. Is there anything that you might have revised before this next game, having learned from last time? Um, nothing particularly comes to mind. Uh, hopefully we can have another good wall. Um, we've been scared of the wall, but I think we can break it down. Confident fighting talk. Before we get to the wall, we're going to play rounds one and two. Let's start with you, Clue Smiths. You won the toss. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Eye of Horus, please. OK. What is the connection between four apparently random clues? Here's the first. Next. Uh, next, please. Let's call friends. Access, yes. Um, should we go for access? Is it access? Not the answer, I'm afraid. So I'm going to show the fourth clue to the mixologists. You have the chance of a bonus point. OK. Uh, it was the uh, Excel. No, that's not it either. Now, the third clue is access. The fourth oh, clue is Excel. Sorry. First one, Matthew Bannister's show is Outlook. An entry in a dictionary sorry. is a word. Oh, no. You're groaning. Do you know the answer now? Yeah, it's Microsoft oh, Office programs. Microsoft yeah. software, yes. Outlook, Word, oh. Access, Excel. Together they make Microsoft software. Unlucky. No bonus point, but you do get to choose your own question. Uh, two reads, please. <laughs> two reads. These are going to be picture clues. Something connects them, but what is it? Here's the first. Grandpa Abe and, and, and a bassoon. Bassoon Abe, bassoon Simpson, bassoon Grandpa. OK, next, please. Uh, that's a flute of bird. Abe, bird. The jazz, not jazz musicians in Abe. And the instruments they played. Oh, yeah, who's Abe? Who's, yeah? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, bird is Charlie Bird Parker. Charlie Bird Parker, did he play the flute? I don't know. No, just Should we get the next one? Next. Top Cat and a clarinet. <sighs> I think it... Nicknames of jazz musicians. And then Should we just get the last one? Yeah, it goes. Next. Up. Fox and a French horn. OK, um, jazz musicians and their nicknames and instruments. That is not the answer, I'm afraid. We'll come back to that in a minute, but Clue Smiths, do you want to have a go for a bonus point? We were thinking along similar lines. No, oh. wait, wait, wait. It, is it um, uh, Peter and the Wolf, the instruments representing the animals? Oh. It is Peter and the Wolf. Oh. Right back at Clue 1, when you said bassoon grandpa, that was your way in. Grandfather and a bassoon, bird and a flute, cat and a clarinet, wolf and a French horn. They are characters in Prokofiev's Peter and the Wolf and the associated instruments. Well done, Clue Smiths. You have a bonus point. Which question would you like? 
Water, please. Water. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Uh, next. Is it islands? No, it is not, as you'll discover when I show the fourth clue to the mixologists. A possible bonus point. Uh, hmm. Well, Mary is theotiki, I think. Uh, OK, we'll go for that, because that sounds good. Theotiki. And not the answer, either. <laughs> now, of course, oh. when you see what was tickled en masse Please. by Liberace, there's only one possible answer yes. to that. Oh, ivories, God. the yes. ivories, that's all. He tickled nothing else. We are looking at, in the first clue, that's a tricky one, it's the purity of ivory soap, 99 and 44 hundredth percent was the boast of Ivory Soap. Dot .ci is the internet domain code for the Ivory Coast. There are many epithets for Mary, of course, but Ivory Tower is one of them. And what did Liberace tickle on a good day? It was the Ivories. Mm. Mixologists, what would you like? Twisted Flax, please. Twisted Flax. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Two and six, and six cubed. Six cubed, so six, six, six. Six times six times six. Yeah, that's six. Sometimes it means evil. We do mean evil. Next, please. Three, seven, six. Yeah, when were... Oh, are oh, these, like, amendments to something or designations or something? Of acts. Oh, no, no. Acts. Um, Next, please. What's lie that? detection? Lie detection. Oh, OK. Things are up. No, it can't be up. Next, please. List or something like offered by something. Um, um, Three seconds. <laughs> um, things that were outlawed uh, by Cromwell. No, although I like the idea of outlawing evil. That's my <laughs> kind of law. Uh, no, Clue Smiths, bonus opportunity for you. Um, it's a numerical one and uh, we can't see it. You can't do it. Is it something to do with six? It, no, it isn't. I mean, I loved what you were doing at the beginning there with the 666 and can you do it by maths. No, no, no. It's simply the Dewey Decimal System of oh, classifying wow. books. These are depreciated <laughs> classifications. They are former Dewey classifications for books in libraries. Of course, of course now you look at it. <laughs> it's on computer now. Yes, I think initially education of women was just sort of filed under evil and then they, uh, <laughs> they later they got rid of all of them. Yes, the Dewey System. Right, come on, everyone. Time to wake up and get some points. Clue Smiths, you've got the last choice of the round. Lion, please. Lion. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Oh, son of, yes, yes. Yeah, shall we go for it again? Is it son of? Coming in after two clues, you get three points. Son of. What can you tell me about the clues you're looking at? <laughs> you know the last one. Uh, well, son of Sam was the serial killer David Berkowitz. That's right. Um, son of. Um, son of Perdition, Perdition is, is a, an epithet for Judas. Judas. Yes, who said that? Jesus. Jesus, of course, yeah. referred to Judas as the son of Perdition. The son yes. of a preacher man was the only man who ever loved her. It was the only man who ever loved Dusty Springfield, according to that song. And. Amenhotep was referred to as son of Harpu to distinguish him from King Amenhotep III in ancient Egypt. He was a sort of Egyptian official later deified. All a son of. Well done. OK, final question and last chance to score for you, mixologists. It's the Horned Viper. Ah, the music question, of course. We should have known it was going to be coming. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. <laughs> On around him everywhere. That sounds a bit John Denvery, but I don't know. Let's play um, Shall we get the next one? Yeah. Next. <laughs> Katy Perry, Domino. No, it's Jesse J, Domino. Wizard, Wizard. Wizard Jesse J, Domino. Wizard, Jesse J, Domino. Wish you could be just three days, Domino. Next, please. Let me take you down. Uh, Strawberry Fields, Travis. 
30 seconds. Um, let's go that they are all films with Kira Knightley in them. I'm afraid they are not oh, no. all films with Kira Knightley in them. So, a last bonus chance of the round for you, Clue Smiths. Are they all related to games? No, the Computer middle games. two are, but not the first and last. It is more about films. Now, oh. this is a difficult one. The first tricky oblique one, I wish it could be Christmas every day. Christmas is the key word. Next one is solitaire, oh, then domino, oh, God, then calls. strawberry oh. fields forever. <laughs> Once again this round, you're going, ah, oh, yeah. at the last minute, do you know now? Are they Bond girls? It is Bond yeah. girls. We're thinking about Christmas Jones from The World Is Not Enough, Solitaire from Live and Let Die, Domino from... Oh, uh, um, uh, that Exactly, one. Thunderball, yeah. <laughs> and Strawberry Fields from the recent one, Quantum of Solace. It was Gemma Arterton. Poor boys, you have spent the whole round going, oh, <laughs> just at the last minute, and there again, Bond girls. That means at the end of round one, the mixologists have yet to score. The Clue Smiths have four points. <laughs> round two isn't going to be any easier, I'm afraid. There are still four connected clues, but this time they come in a sequence, and I want to know what the fourth one is. Clue Smiths, you'll be going first again. Please choose a hieroglyph. <laughs> two reads, please. Two reads. You will see the first in a sequence. I want to know what comes forth. Time starts now. Uh, next. Oh, it is. Um, is it um, absolute zero? Um, next, please. We can't, it's a sequence. Um, any ideas at all? Recognise those numbers? Three seconds. That's it, I'm afraid you're out of time. So, another bonus opportunity for you, mixologists. Ewan, as our token scientist, is going to take a stab in the dark. Let's hear um, it. Uh, it's, the, uh, it's the boiling and melting points of iodine. Um, so, I'm afraid no, this is that. far <laughs> too long. Yeah. For your scientific brain to come yeah, to the I point. Think. No, the answer is top 100 and 212. Oh. You're in the right area. It's the marker points of Celsius and Fahrenheit. Oh. And it's the bottom and then the top. And we want to hear 100 and then it's equivalent 212 Celsius and Fahrenheit marker points expressed in both scales. All right, mixologists, is this going to be the moment you get off the blocks? I feel it is. What is the hieroglyph of glory? Eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Jim Grievous in Revenge of the Sith. He's got four... He's got four lightsabers. No, he's got four lightsabers. Oh. OK, but, uh, next, please. Oh, Captain America, an easy rider. Uh, yeah, easy rider. Well, Captain America is played by Chris... Oh, uh, next, please. Three wheels? Oh. Uh, okay, he rides rise a one wheel thing, two wheels, three wheels, four. Okay, so, okay, so Batman. Batman. Yeah, Batman. Okay, uh, so, Batman. For what reason? The Batmobile has four wheels. Then it's an acceptable answer. We were thinking of Mr Toad from The Wind in the Willows, <laughs> but anybody with a four-wheeled yeah. vehicle and why? Uh, because General Grievous, um, as you're in very... wheeled vehicle. It's sort of a giant out. hamster wheel, <laughs> yeah. isn't it, his vehicle? Easy Rider is, is Captain America's motorbike, isn't it? So it's got but then it's obviously the motorbike movie the and then... yellow Robin Reliant. Dale Boy in Only Fools and Horses has the three-wheeled van. So one, two, three and four wheels. Well done. At last, two points. Enjoy that water. It's well earned. <laughs> OK, Clue Smiths, what would you like? Uh, twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. Should we get one more? Yeah. Uh, next. The Corsica, the Corsica. Well, let's just go for Corsica. Is it Italian? Is it the Should we go for that? Is it Corsica? Not the answer, I'm afraid. So, mixologists, your chance to have a go. Sicily. Sicily is the right answer. And why is that? Islands that... Do they all belong to Italy in, in terms of size? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Simply largest Italian islands, you know, a standard geography question, and the next in the sequence would be Sicily. 
Mixologists, you get a bonus point and your chance to choose. Horned Viper, please. OK. What would come fourth in this sequence? These are going to be picture clues, so what would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Red wine. Uh, next, please. That's Patrick Moore. Glass of Moore. Red Moore. Red Moore. Red Moore. Um, next, please. Who's that? Yeah. But the two of them as well. Two. Two. Who is this? I don't know who it is. Wine? More. Red wine. Oh, strong nest. Oh, I'm sure. Who? Bobby Famous Moors. Famous Moors. Bobby Moore. Um, is it Dean Long Back? I think she has to go for a ball or something. Styles. Let's put a picture of Damien Hurst. For what reason? Because that could well be representative of Bobby Moore, and then that could be uh, um, um, Dorothy Style. So there's Styles, and then Jeff Hurst played up front I, in '66. With that logic, I'm afraid Damien Hurst is not an acceptable answer. So Clue Smith, do you want to have a go? Right. No, sorry. No. Now I really like this question. I think this is great fun. But if you don't recognise the person at Clue Three, you never stood any chance at all. That is Sybil Shepherd. You're all Shepherds. too young for moonlighting. I think that was her big show. So, and there's two of her. Shepherds. So we're looking at red sky at night oh. shepherds. Oh. We want an image of delight. Oh, for example, yeah. only awful. connect and some jubilant scenes from that <laughs> delightful show. Red Sky at Night, Shepherd's Delight. Oh, dear. That was fun, that question. <gasps> Delightful Only Connect. Mick, have you written a limerick about Only Connect? I hear you have. Uh, I have got one if you like, yes. Come on, then. OK. <clears throat> Contestants on Only Connect are never sure what to expect. We'll pass Eye of Horus, then Lion will floor us with something we can't recollect. I think that's very good. I mean, update, all the clues will floor us. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, that wasn't accurate this in evening. terms of... <laughs> What's happened? I like that tremendously. OK, I'm so pleased, I'm going to give you the chance to choose a question. Uh, lion, please. Lion, yes. Will the lion oh. floor you? It's a music sequence. Music. We, we just heard the little chord. So, what would you expect to hear in fourth place? Here's the first. <laughs> Next. Oh, it's successive. It's a uh, band aid. Uh, do the notes Christmas. I don't know what you mean. You're going to have to perform it for me <laughs> so that I understand. <laughs> I will give you three points, but let's hear it. One, two, three, four. It's Christmas time. There's no need to be afraid. Absolutely <laughs> lovely. In that case, three points very well earned. Can you explain why? Uh, they're the Christmas number ones of 81, 82, 83 and 84. Absolutely right. And the moment and you the heard... the third that... one was uh, Only You by the Flying Pickets, I believe. Only You by the Flying Pickets, yes, but you only needed to hear two. Is that because you're a big uh, fan of the charts or you've just um, boned up on your Christmas I'm number ones? I'm still living before... in the 80s. I see. Very well done. Back to you, Mixologist. For the last question, it's water. They were not floored by a lion. Can you cruise down the water to point success? What would be fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Um, oh, these are the Pevensey children. Is it Peter the Great? In, in age. So this is the youngest. This is the youngest. So Peter's the oldest. Yeah, but it's also the biggest King Peter. Yes, are you sure? Um, I'm, good. I'm willing to go for it. I'm willing. I'm willing to go for it. OK. Peter the Great. I love your gambling spirit, but I'm afraid that is oh, not the answer. Yeah. So, Cluesmiths, I'm going to show you the next two clues in the sequence, and I'd like to know what comes forth. Oh, is it Peter? Piece of the Brave. Not it oh, either. No, now, no, you no, did well no, to no, recognise no. the Pevensey Children's titles in Narnia. We are going up in age, but it was Peter the Magnificent. Was it? Oh. Peter the Magnificent. <sighs> That's all right. That's all right. I'm very all right. sorry. I'd like to have given the five points, but I cannot. At the end of round two, the mixologists have three points, the cluesmiths have seven. <laughs> time now for the connecting wall, and the mixologists will be going first this time. I really feel I can appreciate your shirt at this point. You've cat to be kitted me, right meow. Based on the well-known <laughs> expression... You've got to be kidding me right now. Right now? Right now. I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> oh, we're feeling good about it. Oh, oh. 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 Yes. luckily there's no time for this because <laughs> you've got to play a wall. You've got a choice, lion or water. The lion wall, please. Oh, you're going with the cat. I'm going with the, cat. with the cat. To be kitten me right now. You have two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting now. Get 
cast be portrait. Great, but great cast be great to take. Uh, okay, great big escape. scary diagonals, nothing uh, there. Okay. Control, control escape. escape. Control escape. Uh, yeah, right, okay. Enter, 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 control. Escape. Enter, control. Enter, control. Uh, what a function? Yes, yeah. yeah, so that's a five, so that's fine. Yeah, um, through the five. I've done that one, but it's all right. Great rock and roll swindle. Uh, not portrait escape. Oh, sorry, um, great that's that's escape dictator. Yeah. And what did we say, rock and roll swindle? Or what was the other one we said? Um, great. Ooh, great defense. Defense. Oh no, hang on, we've got all Scott Sanders yeah. we've got Bunny Chow. Oh, Bunny Chow, Chow. Built on. Chakalaka, uh, yeah. Uh, well, well, yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, no, or, um, it's probably um, uh, Gatsby. Uh, okay, Gatsby. Right, um, great. Three strikes and you're out Dictator now. and Rock and Roll. Okay, um, great escape. Self-portrait. Yes, um, self self-esteem, self-esteem, self-defense. Now hang on, self-serving. Serving. So what are these three? Great, Walden. Uh, they must be greats, yeah. Yeah, great, sure. The great great Walden Pepper, it must be, because great to say great escape and great rock and roll swindle. Okay, go for it. Go for it. You sure. had to be kidding me, right? Meow. You solved the wall. So that's four points immediately for the groups you found. What about the connections? Tell me about the dark blue group starting enter. These are all things you can uh, do on a keyboard, computer keyboard. Simple computer keys. And the second one, Gatsby and the others in the green group. Um, Chris spotted no, these, these, are, these are South African foods. Yes. South African cuisine. The purple group, portrait, serving, defence, esteem. Can all be preceded with the word self. Self-portrait, self-serving, self-defence, self-esteem. And the light blue group starting Waldo Pepper. They were film, uh, all films uh, that are preceded with the word great. That's right. You don't remember the great Waldo Pepper? The, I think this might have been before our time. <laughs> I suppose you wouldn't remember it. But yeah, it's a great <laughs> film. It's uh, Robert Redford plays a pilot. Does he? Yeah, Not great yeah. if you're frightened of flying, which I am, but it's a lovely <laughs> film anyway. So, well done. Four points for the groups you found, four for the connections, a bonus of two for getting it all right. That is a maximum of ten. Let's bring back the other team now, give them a new wall and see what they can do about solving it. It's the wall to wall view, Clue Smith. The line's been taken. Two and a half minutes, of course, starting now. Perfume, should have opium. Yeah, number five. Number five. Number five. Okay. Should Should we go for a uh, quiz game? Let's go for a quiz game. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, I think I've got one for each one. What's the other one? It's from two. Oh, perfection. Yes, perfection. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, do Tanner it? Bob. Coins, Tanner Bob. Yeah. Uh, score. Nick Dabber is a fiver. Yeah, okay. Lady Dabber is a fiver. Yeah, okay. Lady Dabber is a fiver. Nicknames of uh, Tanner, Tanner Bob. Tanner Bob. Bob. No. Is there another one? Sean Bob. 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 Bag of sand? No. Bag of sand? Some grand. Bags and grand? Bags and grand, maybe. maybe. Uh, uh, Tanner. Lady Diver. What's the other one? Score. score. No. No. Bob. Bob. Bag of sand. No, there must be another rhyming slang one or something. OK, let's go for some Shadour, Shalimar, number five. Yep. Opium. Well, well done. Well done. Well done. So Three strikes and you're out now. Right. Jeez, have we still got the... Possible, yeah, we've still got Lady, Lady Diver, score, yeah. bag of sand. It's frontier of countdown. It's front frontier of wordplay. Countdown could be, yeah, could be. Ron, no. Frontier, no. Anne, that was Anne in. God. What a minute left. Does anything go after it? One frontier. This frontier. Bag of sand. Countdown. Sand. Bag of sand and Lady Godiva has to be about, um, about notes. We're trying yeah. to catch with the bag of sand. Bag of sand, sand Lady Godiva. Paper Diver. And, um, uh, um, Fantasy Boy. No, it's not the Frontier Countdown. Bob and Tanner. No, we did that, Bob and Tanner, didn't we? Bob and Score. Okay. Bob and Score. Let's try. 30 seconds. No. Bag of sand. Tanner and Score. You've not done that one before, no. Not one more. Um, frontier. Well, the final countdown, final score, yeah. final fantasy. Yeah, ah, yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. Wow, with ten seconds to go, you solved the wall. Very well done. So those are all the groups. What about the connections? Pointless, the chase, 15 to 1, perfection. They are daytime game shows. They are daytime quiz shows. And the green group starting opium. They're all perfumes, I believe. 
Those are the perfumes. Almost anything could be a red herring in that category. Isn't it? <laughs> I wear the pointless perfume, just so I can feel the light touch of Richard Osman at all times. Yes, I wear the bag oh. of sand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the purple group, Frontier, score, countdown, fantasy. They can all be preceded by final. You suddenly spotted that at the end there. Final frontier, final score, final countdown and final fantasy, a sort of video game series, that is. Well spotted. And the last group, Lady Godiva, Tanner, Bob, Bag of Sand. They're all slang for money. It's slang for money. It's Bob you weren't spotting. Just a shilling, a few Bob. Tanner, that's a sixpence. Not tenner, that would be a Cockley Ben, obviously. But uh, a tanner would be uh, would be a sixpence lady godiva deep sea diver a fiver bag of sand a grand a thousand oh i'm itching for the casino <laughs> yes. so well done all the groups all the connections plus the bonus that is a maximum of 10 points let's have a look at the scores the mixologists have 13 points the clue smiths have 17. One of these teams is going to the quarterfinals the other team is going home we will decide which in the missing vowels round Fingers on buzzers then. The first group are all tablets. Mixologists. Kindle. Yes, it is. Mixologists. Nexus. An Android tablet, correct. Blue Smiths. Viagra. Yes, it is. Mixologists. The Ten Commandments. Correct. Next category, film titles decreased by one. Blue Smiths. Two men and a baby. From three men and a baby, correct. Clue Smiths. Snow White and the Six Dwarfs. That's right. Mixologists. At 100 Dalmatians. Not the right answer, I'm afraid you lose a point, Clue Smiths. Do you know? 999,100. No, no, far too long. $999,999 baby. <laughs> Next clue. Clue Smiths? The six year age. That's more like it. Next category. They all feature in the top 20 nation's favourite poems. Mixologists. Ode to Nightingale, to a Nightingale. I can't take it. You have to lose a point. Clue Smiths, do you know? Ode to a Nightingale. The full title is Ode to a Nightingale. John Keats. Next clue. Clue Smiths. No time to tell me that last one. Dulce et decorum est, of course, the Wilfred Owen. But that is the end of the quiz. And finishing with an excellent 22 points through to the quarterfinals, it is the Clue Smiths on 14 points and very sadly going home it's the mixologists i'm sorry thank you for coming it was lovely to see you i'm afraid it's the end of your run well done clue smiths we'll be meeting you again later in the series what a night we've had poetry we've had song frankly it's all been far too jolly and i don't approve at all join me for next week's episode that'll wipe the smile off everyone's faces goodbye <laughs>